Well, hello again. Welcome back to the Playful Preschooler. Um, I'm Andrea Walner. I'm a preschool teacher over at Olympic Hills Elementary, and I'm here today to show you some fun things you can do in the kitchen with your kids. Now, I thought a kitchen, when I'm doing cooking in my kitchen, is a lot like a classroom. I'm doing things like measuring and counting and estimating when I'm in the kitchen, and so I thought, hey, how about we bring the classroom to the kitchen today? So uh, let me show you my first thing that I discovered this morning. When I got up this morning, I wanted to have an orange. So I peeled my orange today. This is my little trick when I peel an orange. I like to peel it all in one segment here. I noticed that when I opened my orange, I tore it in half, two equal parts. And then I also noticed that my orange had different segments. And in my classroom with preschoolers, we do things called counting collections. And so I wondered, hey, how many orange segments do we have? And so let's move and count. That's a technique we do, so we don't get mixed up with our counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There were five segments in that half. Let's think. Do you think there are five in this half as well? Hmm, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Five in one half and five in the other half of my orange. How many segments do you think we have all together? Five and five. Do you have your guess? Okay, now let's check. We guess and then check. So let's count the orange slices all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten orange slices. Mm, delicious. Now we can eat it up. Yum, 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 yum. Very juicy. So that's one way we can do some counting with our kids uh, in the kitchen at home. Now, another thing I thought we could do is do some patterns with fruit. So here's what I have here. I chose some of my favorite fruit. Can you see what I have on my, on my little plate here? I chose some apples and these are strawberries, blueberries, and oranges. And I have toothpicks here. And I thought, hey, let's do some patterns with fruit. Hmm, I'm gonna start with one blueberry. And this is just a long toothpick and a strawberry, a blueberry, and a strawberry. What do you think comes next? A blueberry. And a strawberry. So that's a pattern with two fruits. Blueberries and strawberries. And look at my pattern. I have one, two, three blueberries and one, two, three strawberries. Blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry. How many fruits in all? Did you guess? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's one kind of a pattern. I wonder what else I could do. Could I use three fruits in a pattern? Let's see, what if I chose a piece of an apple? 
This is a good way to get your kids to eat healthy too. Apple, orange, blueberry. What would come next? We don't know, I haven't repeated my pattern yet. Apple, orange, blueberry. So now I have a pattern that's a little, a little more tough, a little more difficult. Apple, orange, blueberry. Apple, orange, blueberry. If I had any more room on my toothpick, what would come next? You're right, an apple. We'll just stick one on there just to, just to give it a try. So that could be fun to do with your kids, trying out patterns with fruit. It's a fun way to get your kids to eat some healthy food. And it's also adding some math and adding some counting. Now, I thought about another recipe that, uh, this is my one of my son's favorite recipes uh, to pack in his lunch. And it's almost lunchtime again at my house, so I thought, hey, I think I'll make something with a banana, a tortilla, and some peanut, oh, I shouldn't show you the label, but this is peanut butter. If you don't have peanut butter, uh, some kids like to eat some butter or almond butter or all kinds of different butters. So I'm gonna make something uh, with these three ingredients. And this is something that your kids can make at home. And it's also a little bit of science and fun. Now, when kids come to school in my classroom with bananas, they often ask me, Mrs. Walner, Mrs. Walner, can you help me open up my banana? And so I say to them, would you like me to open it on the kid side or the monkey side? And this is kind of a fun fact, kids. Monkeys like to hold on to this side and then they use their big long thumbs and pop the banana like this. Pop, and then look it. Now my banana can just be peeled open. And then kids can open up their bananas all by themselves. And then here's another fun fact about bananas. A banana can break apart into three sections. Look at that. If you poke your finger down the middle of your banana, look at it, it comes off in one section. Two and three. Did you expect that to happen? Boy, that might even be a little bit of science, learning how monkeys open up bananas. Okay, now here comes our recipe. I said that our recipe was banana, tortilla, and peanut butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the peanut butter, and I just have a, a knife here. I might need to open, here, go up a little bit more. And I spread that peanut butter all over my tortilla. That was one. We'll give them some more peanut butter. Kids, do you think you could spread peanut butter on a tortilla like this? Okay, put my knife back in there and then I'm gonna take one banana slice. Can you see my banana? And then roll my tortilla around the banana and the peanut butter here. Now kids, we could eat it just like this, like a banana peanut butter roll up, or we could cut it into little sushi pieces. So I have my same knife here and I can go back and forth that's one. How many pieces do you think I'm going to get here? Hmm. One. Two. Fun sound. Three. Four. Five. So that was five cuts. But how many pieces did I get? 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mmm, that looks yummy. Okay, next part here. Hang on. So for my next recipe in my kitchen, uh, I asked my class to send me different recipes of fun stuff that they were making at home with their moms and dads. And one of my students drew me a picture of this recipe. And he calls this patterned pancakes. And so this is a picture that my friend drew where he's got a grape and a pancake and the different fruits that he used to create a patterned pancake. Yeah, so your kids could draw you pictures or draw out recipes for fun things that they might want to try at home. So let me show you how my friend made his pattern pancakes. So I have a perfect pile of petite pancakes here. Yeah, I made those this morning. And then I also have different fruits here. And so my friend, when his mom showed me his video, this is what he did. He took a pancake and put a fruit, I have an orange slice, and a pancake, and a fruit, and a pancake. Hmm. So that's one pattern pancake there. Pancake, orange, pancake, orange, pancake. Hmm. I also had some strawberries, so I could do a pancake and a strawberry. A pancake and a strawberry and a pancake. Hmm. Oh, I have two more pancakes left. I wonder what I could try this time. <gasps> I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go pancake strawberry banana pancake strawberry banana oh if i had one more pancake ooh maybe with the magic of of tv when i come back i'll have another pancake for on top of my pancake patterns that was a fun recipe from my friend at school, or one of my students. Okay, last one. So let's see, we made patterns uh, with our fruit on toothpicks. We took a look at counting the segments of an orange, and then we made pattern pancakes. I thought that was kind of fun. Now, I was wondering what we could drink. Oh, I'm off camera there. Well, oh, ring, 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 ring. My phone is ringing. Ah, hello. Oh, hello, Serenity. You found out I was making a show in my kitchen and you wanted me to show you how to make your favorite drink? What's your favorite drink? Chocolate milk. Okay, I'll make it. See you soon, Serenity. Bye-bye. Well, kids, um, at school, one of our favorite things to drink is chocolate milk on Fridays. So I have some milk here, and I thought I'd show you a recipe on how to make chocolate milk. So for my chocolate milk, I have milk. I have chocolate, chocolate syrup. I have a spoon, and then this is a secret ingredient. So my chocolate milk, I need three spoons of chocolate sauce. So kids can do this too. Here we go. Squeeze out our chocolate. 
Here we go. One, two, and three. Three spoons of chocolate. And then for the extra special, you put one shake of a little bit of salt. And I put the lid on my jar here. And I need to shake it for about 10 seconds. So here, we're going to get some more counting in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got some chocolate milk. And I have some guests at my table waiting for me. Let's go find out who's here. Well, hey, welcome back. I have my lunch feast here, and a few friends came to join me for lunch today. Look at Gerald came and joined me, and he chose to use the placemat. Do you see what we have on this placemat? We have some numbers on here. This is another way you can add some learning to mealtime. You can write the numbers or write a grid and let kids write numbers on a placemat. Look at Piggy came too. And Piggy made a placemat here. You see, we've got a little pattern going on the perimeter. Red, blue, green. Red, blue, green. Or I could say circle, square, triangle, circle, square, triangle. And we've got a placemat here with a pattern. And my friend Chavez over here, Chavez the elf, see what Chavez has on there? Hopefully those are right side up for you. I, uh, I drew some, or I wrote some A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I put them in lowercase letters. We've been learning about letters a lot in preschool. Uh, most of our kids know all of their uppercase letters, but and now that preschool is about halfway over, or so it goes in the year, uh, we're looking at lowercase letters to help kids when they start reading books, because most books uh, have lowercase letters uh, when you're writing words. Okay. So these are little guys, so I just have some little plates here. And now here's just a little bit more math we can do. So let's see, I have one, two, three people that we're going to feed. Let's see. Piggy, would you like this? Oh, yeah, Mr. Walker. Oh, how about the one with apples? I had three of these, our little pattern fruits. Now we've got a little problem, a math problem, that is. I have my little roll-ups with the bananas in it. Do you remember I did five cuts, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. How many will each of my guests get so that they have the same? You think two? Let's see if that works out even. One, two for Chavez. Whoa, Chavez, hold on. One, two for Piggy. And look at that. It leaves one, two. One, two for Gerald. Hey, that worked out perfect. Okay, this one's a little easier. I have three of my pattern pancake pieces. Hey, those are all P words. I have one, two, three. Elephant or Gerald, which one would you like? Okay, he said he wants that one. How about this one for you, Piggy? Oh, it's a big one. This one for Chavez. Okay, Chavez, that one's for you. Having like a little tea party. Okay, last food to serve. 
Now I remember when I had my oranges, when I opened up my orange segment, I had 10 orange slices there, but I ate one. So if I had 10 and I ate one, I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh, how many will each of my guests get so that they have the same amount? Hmm, I remember I had six of my banana tortilla peanut butter roll-ups and they each got two, but I have nine orange slices. What do you think? You think three? One, two, three? Let's try it. Okay. One, two, three for Gerald. One, two, three for Piggy. Oh, this is the one that I ate. Yeah, I don't want to serve them that one. One, two, three for Chavez. Huh. That worked out. And then I can pour everyone a little bit of our special chocolate milk. Ooh, a little for Chavez, a little for Piggy, and a little for Gerald. Well, that sure was fun. We made a great lunch. And now I think we're ready to eat. Bon appetit. Now you may eat. And goodbye, kids. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen for a little fun and learning. Goodbye.